good afternoon everybody so today I am going to be filming this process of making this gourd house um, so you could see I've got the shape cut out I've got some little windows in it you can see there oh let me let me try to get closer here there you go you can see I cut the I used a box cutter um, just with some razor blades and uh, right now I um, have got it glued so this glue I've got it glued down with some E6000 and it's drying it's to use that as a base and here I am using some matte foam board for the floor. I'm going to, I don't have any way to measure this, so I'm going to just try to freehand it and cut it out and see if that will work. And then I can cover this in maybe some popsicle sticks or some kind of wood that I've got. I know I've got a bunch of wood over here. So I've got these here that I could use. That will work for the floor. Oh, I've also got these little pieces of wood here. Oh, maybe I can just cut a whole piece. I don't know. We'll see. So these are birdhouse gourds that I grew. I grew them. Um, if you go back through my videos, you can see throughout the summer, you can see the whole process from start to finish. I, I showed you guys the digging of the whole plot of land, which was up there, um, all the way to the harvesting of the gourds. Um, it was really fun. It was my first year growing any type of gourd. Like I've grown, well, not any type of gourd because I've grown pumpkins and things before, but I've never grown like actual gourds. Um, and so, yeah, I am experimenting. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this. So the tools that I'm using so far are just a razor blade and some sandpaper. Um, I did sand the outside of the gourd just to, you know, kind of smooth it. It is a bunch of different colors, but I kind of like the, the look of it. Tried to make it not look so like proper, kind of, you know, fairy house vibes is what I'm going for here. Um, and of course we're going to totally deck it out and make it look fabulous. So I'm just kind of messing around with little elements and so far that's the only tools I've used and some super glue. I've used some E6000, like I said, uh, look, here's the seeds that completely dried up in a little ball and I've got a whole basket full of gourds out there. So. Um, I can use those too. And right now I'm just messing around with uh, the flooring, like I said. So when I get that done, I'll show you. Okay, so far um, this is what I've got. I am using just regular tacky glue. Um, I did glue this floor down a little bit. Um, the mat board, but I'm going to fill this here probably with something, I don't know yet, but something soft um, that I can, obviously we're not going to be using this, like nothing's going to be going in there, so like we don't have to be mindful of like the durability of the floor or the strength of it. So all I'm doing uh, is taking these craft sticks. And then before I cut it, I just push it in all the way to, and I make sure I go all the way to the back of the wall. And then I just lay it down. And then I'll take my um, pen and just mark. Mark where the other ones are. And then I take my um, knife here and I just cut it. And then I sand the edge down when, after I cut it. Uh, and then, of course, I'll, once I have the entire floor laid, 
I will sand the whole thing down again. And I'm going to build some kind of stair right here. And don't worry, we're going to be covering this whole platform. I'm just using that because it's got like this already path already made in there. It's kind of perfect. Um, so yeah, it is finally dried and glued down. Looking great so far. So when I get to the next step, I'll be back. Okay, you guys, I have got most of the floor laid. Um, it's really hard to cut a piece to fit that back in there and then over here. So I'm going to um, do some embellish, embellishing to see what I can come up with or just like structural pieces that make it look more like a home. Um, I've got this piece of wood here that I got from Joann's and you can see that I've already marked where I'm gonna cut so that I can take this and glue this here um, to make it uh, more like a foundation. And I think I'm gonna continue that look kind of around the house like this, around the base to make it look like it's sitting on some wood. I think that will look cute. Uh, to make it look more like a permanent structure is, you know, like pretty much what I'm going for. So I might have to go out to Joann's tomorrow to get another one of these. Um, let's see what other pieces of wood I've got. I've got these here, but these are like dowels. So these are good for this will be good for like the uh, furniture and things like that. But I've also got these paint stir sticks right here. Oh, a collection of roots. So yeah, I'll just have to go through my stash of things and uh, see what we can make. But I think I will pick this back up tomorrow because it's 10 o'clock. I think it's like okay before I get any further in this project I have to film this okay so I've got to show you guys what I've done so I I noticed that um, when I was cutting it and everything that this part here was kind of like breaking off because of mold and also the windows didn't look um, great they just didn't have the feel that I wanted them to have um, with just the cut so what I did is I took some air dry clay. I just used this kind here. And I get a lot of my stuff off of Amazon, you guys, because I have like a mild agoraphobia. I, if I can find a way to not leave my house, uh, I definitely will take that route. Um, I just, I get such bad anxiety in public when I have to do things by myself in public. So, but I just use this DOS uh, air dry clay and what I did was like really pushed it into the the gourd and smoothed it out like pretty much to the edges on the inside and the outside and then I painted it. I just used a mixture of this here, this dark, this raw umber mixed with a little bit of white and a little bit of orange. So I mixed the brown and the orange together um, and I did a base layer and then I mixed a little bit of white in there and it got this really pretty color. And on the bottom side here, I did um, put a layer of black paint. I also painted the base black and on the inside you can see I, um, it was really nice, the clay. I got it kind of wet in a little bowl and I got it really flat and I pressed it into the fibers because this um, the surface on the inside is really fibrous. So you can see I was able to like really smooth it around the edges and you can't tell except for there on that window, but that's okay. We can, I'm gonna um, be adding little pieces of furniture in that I make. So I just, I think the air dry clay made it beautiful and I decided to paint it because it just had too much air, too much clay and everything. In fact, I gotta do another coat because you can still see the clay here. 
Uh, and the theme that I'm going for, I've decided on the theme, and it's going to be a witch's cottage. Um, I just love witchy crafts, and any way that I can like make them, I'm going to. So right now you can see this is, uh, I'm making a little table. This will fit perfectly against the rounded edge in here. If I tried to use a square edge, it would just, it would not give me as much space to play around with everything. So I'm gonna take these um, paint stir sticks and I'm like kind of cutting down the edge you can see here so it doesn't look like a paint stir stick. And I'm gonna put some indentions so it looks like a panel of wood. And I'm going to box in the bottom of the house so it looks like it's a foundation. And then we will start um, maybe with the landscaping next, but we'll see. Okay, I spent all of yesterday um, making, do putting these little touches in here. This is a little rug that I made. I just braided um, some embroidery string and then I twisted it on itself and sewed it. Um, I sewed each little, you can kind of see the black thread, but it's okay. I sewed each little um, twirl around into the to the last one. Um, the middle looks kind of weird because I dipped the end of it in glue before I figured out I would sew it first. Um, and then I made a little table. And I put a little piece of lace on the bottom. I made some clay plates and a little clay candle holder. And I put these pieces here to kind of anchor it in. Um, but I'm gonna be making a part two of this. So, cause I'm, it, this is taking me longer than I thought to finish. So we'll do a part two. So just look forward to that. And I hope you guys enjoyed the little look at this so far. And I'll see you for part two. Say bye-bye, Dixie.